If you're interested in buying the Canon EOS M200, then just keep on watching this video. So if you feel hesitant when it comes to buying a new camera, then listen, I don't blame you because cameras are not cheap. What's up good people? Welcome and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Alex here, Defined by Alex. And listen, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the Canon EOS M200 that I have right here. Now, a couple weeks ago, someone asked me, what is my feedback or do I think this is a good camera? And I actually like this question because I wanna give you guys a non-professional review when it comes to this camera right here. Now, I'm no professional when it comes to photography or videography. I have taught myself a lot of things and so I actually still do my research when it comes to cameras to see what's gonna be the best for me. So let's jump right in. I'm gonna share some pros and cons when it comes to this camera. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start with the pros. When it comes to the first pro, this camera does shoot in 4K quality. If you've been watching content for a while, then I feel like over time your eyes are going to get used to that sharp crisp quality that you may see here on YouTube or on Instagram so one of the things I really like about this camera is that it gives me the 4k quality option so that way I can up my game when it comes to filming for YouTube and now for Instagram reels because now I actually have been using this instead of my iPhone when it comes to shooting in 4k and having those really good quality reels not only that when it comes to taking pictures you also have that option in shooting in 4k or really getting like those really great clear digital camera style pictures if you want to start making like picture style content if you want to do like some fashion content anything that you're showcasing honestly it does take really good pictures it is nothing like having really good great content because that is what keeps your audience engaged moving on to the second pro for the price I pay for this camera which was around $700 it included a tripod the kit lens that you guys see right here this came with the camera and it also came with the remote so when it comes to being able to start and stop your video if you're changing in multiple directions you're placing your camera in multiple different settings oftentimes you can forget to press record so I love that it came with kind of like a creator kit as you will and that's what it's called so I actually bought this with the creator kit but if you guys are just interested in the camera alone and no creator kit then go ahead and look in my description box I leave the link there for you so that way you can check it out for yourself but again another pro was that it came with more stuff so I felt like I got more bang for my buck okay so this camera by itself retails at about I believe like 500 and something dollars like in that high 500 range when it comes to cameras but when you buy with the creator kit you get the remote and the tripod because then you can vlog and just like I said change different angles without having to worry about pressing record okay so the third pro with this camera is the fact that it comes with a flip screen okay so when it comes to any type of video content that you are making whether it's just sit down videos like this one you guys are watching right now vlogging anything when it comes to honestly content okay the flip screen is your best friend because it's nothing better than knowing that you're in frame you're not out of focus you can also make sure that you're looking good that no hair is out of place when it comes to a flip screen so this by far is definitely a pro in my book because I like to see myself and I like to make sure that I'm looking you know presentable to you guys and also just as a good quality check I can always see how I'm going to look to you guys because it's one thing when you're actually filming but then when you can play it back and see yourself without recording that also helps you understand how your performance is gonna go how you show up on you know camera if you have good camera confidence is your camera presence you know really friendly does it come off well so a flip screen does more than just let you see yourself okay you need to make sure that you're coming off and you're conveying your video message your, your topic that you're talking about just like you want so again that flip screen is the bee's knees and that's definitely a pro in my book I feel like with any form of tech okay you're gonna have your good but then you're also gonna have the not so good aka the cons so let me go ahead and share the cons I have when it comes to this camera when you are making videos it is super important not only to have a good picture quality but also a really great audio quality one thing I do not like about this camera camera is that it does not have any space to put like a, a microphone that I'm actually currently using with my second camera that I'm filming on so when it comes to this camera I want you guys to know that you're gonna have to buy 
buy extra pieces, right? Extra, you know, just attachments so that way you could put on an external mic. So this might deter somebody from buying it because if you're on a strict budget, you may not have room to keep buying stuff. And I get that. So that's why I wanted to put that as a con because I feel like when you're buying a camera and you're spending your hard earned money on equipment, you want to make sure that it serves multiple purposes if you're anything like me. So one thing I did notice was that once I purchased it, okay, so I actually made the mistake in purchasing this camera before making sure it had an attachment for, you know, an external microphone. So I want to save you guys that trouble and let you know that it doesn't. So if you do plan on getting this camera, just keep in mind that you're going to have to buy extra pieces of equipment so that way you can enhance your audio. The second kind I have when it comes to this camera is honestly, it is more of a personal, like really personal one because when it comes to traveling, I sometimes like to travel very lightly. And one thing I also did not like about this camera was the fact that I, me personally, I have to like break this camera down for it to like fit in my bag. So perfect example, I'll just have to press this button, take the lens off, and that way I can fit both the camera and the lens in my bag. Like if it's like a small crossbody or whatever it is, but it is a pain to have to put the lens back on and then start filming. So that was another con I feel that would limit somebody who likes to be on the go. If you're really like you want to, you know, just start vlogging and you don't need that inconvenience, then this camera isn't going to be for you, especially if you travel lightly, if you like to be kind of light when you pack all that good stuff. So that's really like, that's another con. Cause again, I just feel like when you're making content and you want to diversify your content, i.e. vlog, travel, with everything you want a camera that fits that lifestyle so that's why I said that as a con again just because I didn't like how I had to break that down okay so now that I've talked about the pros and the cons when it comes to the Canon EOS M200 I just want to leave you with this if you're thinking about buying a camera and you really want to get started with making really great quality videos then I highly suggest you check it out make sure it fits your lifestyle okay I'm not selling you guys this camera I'm just merely giving you my perspective as a consumer just just like you okay I'm not a professional so I really didn't like tear this camera apart when it comes to oh it didn't have this it didn't have that I'm just merely noticing it for my lifestyle and the convenience of how I like to show up you know on my platforms here on YouTube so I want you guys to take this information with a grain of salt I always recommend that you check reviews yourself again continue to do your research to make sure that you know the camera that you choose is the best fit for you but all right good people that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching my honest and consumer review when it comes to the Canon EOS M200. If you guys are liking review style videos like this, then let YouTube know by liking this video. As always, subscribe if you're liking the vibe. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first. And I'm going to catch you in my next video. Bye, y'all. Oh, hey, friend. Thank you so much for watching. But listen, if you have time, I encourage you to watch my next video so that way you can define your life, learn something new, or just catch the vibe. And I'll see you in my next one.